how many of you knew that song? Yes. That's about what I thought. That song's been around uh, quite a while. We first, the Tallies first recorded that back in 1985, and that was the Tallies' very first number one song. And we've been singing it ever since then, and it kind of tells our story now. As we look back over all the years that God's allowed us to do what we're doing, and we think about how good He's been, it just keeps getting better. Mm -hmm. And I know that you can probably look back over your life and say the same thing, but we are so incredibly blessed tonight that, that God just allows us to be here, and we get to do this, and we get to hang out with folks like you. I mean, who wouldn't want that job? That's pretty good. We're so glad that you all are here tonight, and I already said hello to you a while ago, but just uh, for my own information, is there anybody here that has never met the Tallies in person before? You've never seen us? Don't give two hoots about it? Okay. <laughs> well, we are the real Tallies. I, that question is so funny. I, I don't know what other Tallies there are, but yeah, it, it's us. We're really here. We have been singing together for a long time, as you see us on stage tonight, about 22 years. And uh, mom and dad have been in gospel music for a lot of years. And uh, people ask all the time, what is it like to travel and sing full time with your mom and dad at, at this point in your, in your life? And I got to tell you, as a 30 something, I am living out the dream of every 30 something. I know. 24 hours a day, about five days a week, 150 days out of the year with mom and dad. It's, <laughs> it's a good time, I'll tell you. We do have a lot of fun together. My mom is the best alto singer that ever held a microphone, and my dad is the best piano player and producer and arranger in gospel music. I'm awfully proud of them. If you're happy to see my mom and dad, would you make Roger and Deborah Talley welcome? Thank you so much. It is a joy to be here. I remember my dad telling me when I was just a little boy, son, if you ever get the chance to go to Florida, you need to go. That's where all the rich people live. <laughs> so, it is a joy to be here with all the rich folks. And uh, you know what? We are just normal, ordinary folks, just like you are. We have days when everything seems to go pretty good, and we have those days when it seems like nothing goes right. Every day with God is a good day. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you all something that happened to us not too long ago, and I don't know if you've ever been affected by it or not, but it's identity theft. You know, where somebody gets a hold of your financial information or something, and to be honest, I just kind of panicked. I didn't know what to do first. I was calling the bank, calling the credit card company, trying to straighten it out. To be honest, I was sitting at my desk one day and I was going through some bills and I finally decided that maybe it wasn't going to be as bad as I first thought. Turns out the lady who had gotten hold of Deborah's credit card wasn't using it as much as Deborah had been when she had it. So I figured it'd be cheaper if I just let her keep it. We are blessed to get to travel and sing with Lauren. She has been singing with us since she was about 13 years old. And through those years, God has just blessed her in so many ways. And she is now writing, and she's writing songs and articles for the singing news, and she has a book that she's written, and she does some speaking. And she does a lot of good singing, and we're so thankful that she travels with mom and dad. Like she said, she started out singing with us when she was just about this tall. She would get away from the babysitter, crawl up on the steps, and say, I want to sing a thong. She's been singing with mom and dad ever since.
song that we just started singing. 